Hi, this is Abel Mabra coming to you uh, for week five. Um, we uh, have gone through quite a few labs. Um, this week, one and two, or part one, part two, lab one uh, includes the biochemical testing for microbial identification um, via the carbohydrate and fermentation testing methods. Um, you know, we we reviewed um, our safety tips this week and um, went ahead and um, um, started off my my specimens, and they've been sitting for about twelve. To, well, they've been sitting about almost twenty four hours now, and I'm just now pulling those out here on my desk. I'm going to go ahead and put on my protective equipment and begin our video for today. This basic method of, of purpose of the biochemical testing in, in this microbiology um, experiment was basically just how the carbohydrates ferment and um, how these Durbin tubes within the um, t tubes um, we can test for saccharomites and cervicae and staphylococcus heptodermatitis for fr fructose glucose and mannitol fermentation. We did that this week. Um, I'm still not sure of the results but I do see some bubbles and some color changes in the red tube uh, phenol red broth uh, base that um, we've had for the week. Um, all of them actually have changed colors and have I also noticed the fermentation bubbles um, in the each each broth uh, tube. Um, here I have my labeled S Epi Manitol, and that's my specimen two and three. Number two, two, and my one. So I kind of got them flipped over. So I just turn this over, and I have. My specimens here. Ooh, the lid wasn't on too well on that one. Anyhow, I have my S. Cervese glucose here. I see a lot of color change. I have some sediment at the bottom here, and I do see some gas bubbles that have formed up top, on the very top layer of this sample for the next sample the S. epididermis with glucose and in each other tube that was performed um, this week so um, where I left off uh, uh, from exercise one and receiving my specimens back today um, the part two for the carbohydrate fermentation results um, each phenol red buttons um, have been sitting and incubating um, I've already wiped down my station and washed my hands and am wearing my protective equipment I have the six in incubated fentanyl red broths. I'm observing each one and noting that they have substantial color change in the solution um, which is all present for all six and I do see the gas bubbles that have formed in the uh, Dermin tubes. Um, I'm going to record my findings in my data tables and hopefully this um, will have a good 
usable data that can be measured in this week's experiment. Thank you for being with me this week, and I look forward to next week's experiment. Thank you, and have a good night. Bye.